Hello, welcome to another quick unboxing video. Today we have an Optiplex 790MT. Got it from eBay for 85 bucks. Pretty good deal if you ask me. So let us get to the unboxing. So this thing was already kind of open and the box was beaten up, but uh, here's the power cable. Um, I'm actually surprised that the thing didn't fall out of the box or something. So I've been sitting on this for a couple months already. We have a bunch of Optiplexes to unbox, so we are gonna get to that ASAP. You know, I know people have been wanting me to upgrade, so I did order a power supply for this uh, computer already. And I do want to do some upgrades, a graphics card on the way. And um, this thing did come with an i3. I will show you guys the specs toward the end of the video. I took some screenshots of the task manager processes. So here's what the computer looks like. As you can see, it is pretty wide, wide enough for us to fit a power supply in here. So we will get to that in the future once that thing comes in, but I'm going to try to un unbox all the Optiplex we got. You know, got to get to it. Um, the good thing about this thing is it did come with a Windows 10 Pro. So we got our power button, our DVD drive, four USB 2.0s, a microphone and headphone connector apparently is what it's called. So I got that info from the manual, which I will put a link in the description below. So we got our keyboard and mouse inputs, PS2 style, old school. We got two USB 2.0s, an Ethernet port. You got four more USB 2.0s, a display port, a VGA, serial, and microphone and headphone connector again. So now it's time for our boot up time test. So like I said earlier, this came with a hard drive. Uh, I'm not sure what speed yet and capacity. I will put up a screenshot toward the end of the video. But, uh, you know, I had to do a boot up time test and yeah, I feel like it was a pretty good deal. Um, it did come with a, a i3 CPU. Um, to be honest, this thing will be able to run uh, a lot of the games. Uh, nothing crazy though. So we are going to get to that in the future. Like I said, we are going to run some upgrades on this thing. We got 32 seconds of boot up. So about 32 seconds, not bad. So we got our DVD drive a little bit faded, but it seems to be working fine. So that's pretty cool. You know, I do have blank CDs and uh, blank DVD R's lying around, so let's take a look inside though. I wanted to show you guys inside as well. So it looks pretty clean in there. It looks like we got four RAM slots as well. So if it came with 8GB of RAM, I'm assuming those are 2GB sticks. So with four slots, it probably has 8GB. So let me show you guys a better look inside here. Yep, we definitely have room for a graphics card and the power supply can definitely be upgraded, so I'm not too worried about that. As you guys saw in the startup, uh, the boot up time uh, test, the, this thing is on BIOS A16, definitely got to upgrade that. It's got to be at least in the A20s is what we need for that BIOS. So we got a power supply 265 watts, so I ordered a 600 watt power supply. We will get to that in the future. So this is a little old school, so it is a little bit heavier than our usual computer, 19.2 pounds. So it's not like that HP computer. That thing was super light, you know. This thing is about 36 centimeters high. And then 18 centimeters wide. Definitely a lot of space for our power supply. So I did measure the insides. And like I said, we did order one. So I am excited about that. But I'm trying to unbox all these Optiplexes. Let's get to it. And I know there's going to be a lot of gaming requests. So I'll try to improve the quality of the videos on those. And our CPU is an i3-2130 at 3.4 GHz, which is really awesome, base speed. Um, I do have an i7. I have a couple i7 CPUs lying around, so we can definitely upgrade this in the future. We got our disk capacity of 233 GB. And we have our RAM, of course, which is 8 GB of DDR3. Oh, I forgot to mention that. So speed is just um, 1333 MHz. So overall, pretty good. In my opinion, this deal was pretty good. I mean, if you want to do a budget build, I still haven't decided if you want to do an SSD upgrade on this thing or not. Um, I might stick to the regular hard drive, make it like a real budget build, you know. I mean, the power supply itself was 50 bucks, so that's on the way. Um, 50 or 60 bucks, I think. I'll double check the price on the power supply. But 600 watts, a lot of firepower, and then RAM, I'm probably going to go 16 gigabytes just because, um, well, we'll see. I might go 32. I mean, it's DDR3, so we should probably go 32 gigabytes of RAM. We'll figure it out. And then CPU-wise, definitely going to do an i7. Uh, one thing I want to do first, though, like I said, power supply upgrade after that in the future. Um, if the power supply is working well, we'll start upgrading the other stuff, like the RAM, probably in just one video, like a RAM CPU upgrade. 
you know, maybe a hard drive update. I got a one terabyte um, hard drive lying around, you know. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Take it easy.